Okay, so here's the really quick version of our work boxes for that homeschool mom that uh, asked. So this is our set. I know people use lots of different kinds, be it a um, accordion file or binders or whatever. This is just what I bought off of Amazon. So this is what we call our done bucket. So everything as the day goes on goes in that bucket, uh, but it starts empty. And this is how her day starts off. And she'll just come up here and she'll open the bin and she'll pull out her little, you know, card. I made these and laminated them. It just says press play for Bible. And then she takes this card and she knows to put it over here in this little bin so that when I come to set up her day, I just have to pull them all out and they're actually all in order. So she puts the card there and then whatever else is in the bin, she pulls out to use. And then she'll move when she's done with all the items that were in the bin, she puts them in the drum bucket and she moves this one off of the green and onto the red so that now it shows green for go. So she keeps going all the way through until she gets to the last one. Like if there were only 11 buckets to do tomorrow, that was, is how it would look when she got there. She'd know that green means she's done. So, um, but tomorrow she has 12 bins. So, um, so tomorrow when I'm loading this for her, I just put in whatever she needs. Like this is for Bible. I printed out the verse for her. She drew on it, but I printed out the verse, and um, so that's all she needs for Bible. Then um, she'll come to the next one, and this says reading group, and it tells her which one to play. And I'm right next to her, but this allows her to, you know, for me to remember, really, if she asks me. Um, so again, she'll put this in her little container here, and then it's got her book, and it's got the words that I was supposed to write on the um, board. I gotta rewrite that and messed up. But this way, uh, we don't have a board in here. She and I share an office because I work from home. So she sits right next to me. I sit here at my messy desk. And she sits here and works next to me. So that's why we're not downstairs in our official classroom right now. And then she'll go on to the next one. So she just keeps going and whatever's in the bucket, she does. So when she gets to one, like this is for writing, if the slant guide, I already have it in there and the pencil's in here too. So everything she needs. And then when she's done, this will all go in the bin and the pencil goes in the cup. Um, some of the things that um, we were all talking about is these little cards that I use. I laminated some post-its and I wrote on them first, ask mom for some. So this is a speed drill. She's not allowed to look ahead in her buckets. So um, I know she won't see this until it gets here. And I just laminated some post-its. This one says, ask mom. So she'll pull this little post-it off I'll show where those go, and I'll give her her speed drill. And so that's all that's in that bin. And then she'll come up here, and again, I've got post-its on here. I want her to do two reading groups tomorrow on, in the afternoon, so that's why there's post-its on there. So she'll just keep coming through all of her bins. There's another Ask Mom, because this is an activity. Um, this is just something fun I put in there. I will be adding snacks to this. I always do that right before bed. I add a few fun snacks and she eats the snack while she's doing it. I try to do the ones like not writing, ones that aren't, um, you know, hard to eat a snack while you're writing. So I'll add a couple little snacks in there uh, tonight or tomorrow if they're like a fruit or vegetable to be tomorrow. And then I add some little fun things, but she does those while we're doing school because we found that we can keep going much better. And then this is how I did our seat work. I wrote, just typed this up on um, a page and then I laminated it so I can dry erase. I just keep using it over and over again. And so this is right in there and it just is all her seat work and her pencil. And then like this is, she's supposed to do page 10. So I laminated this post-it, if you can see it's shiny there, it's shiny. So I wrote page on it and I laminated it, it's just a post-it, and then I can use it dry erase over and over again, paper clip it, and she has her page number. So that all goes in there. And then when she gets to the very bottom, she has a little thing that says you're a winner, and she gets a popsicle. <laughs> so um, that is how we use the boxes, and at the end of the day, this is completely full, and I'm able to go through it and reload all the boxes. Usually takes 15 minutes, sometimes a little longer. And then over here, I have my binder with all of the manual that I put into the binder and here's where I keep all my you know my ask mom page number write things um, all those different things so that they're all handy for me to get her school ready
So I hope that helps. Enjoy. Happy schooling.